Okay, and that is the mother of all explosions. Holy smokes. I don't know... Oh, it's still going. I don't know what the hell caused that. I'm trying to find some metal. I, I know there's metal around here somewhere. But damn, I don't know what the hell that caused that. But we, we're going to stay very clear of that because that was, that was a massive explosion. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another modded episode for you guys today. And guys, we've been busy. As you can see, we cleared the bushes pretty much around the little base section that we had. We did go harvest a bunch of other bushes and stuff like that. Um, but literally, when we got back here, there were these two Stegos wandering around. So we could have just tamed these guys up and gone ahead and, and gone about our day. But we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. We did need an Iguanodon at the same time anyway, because he's going to be able to produce seeds for us. Um, and like, we've already gotten a fair few seeds, and that's just from harvesting the bushes. That's not from, like, seeding any of the berries or anything like that. So... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and seed them here. I don't know how much we'll actually get because there's like 2,000 berries. I'm thinking we'll take the, the normal berries out and just seed the Marco berries and the Tintos because I'm pretty sure that's all we need. And the Mijos, we'll take those out. Yeah, so if we seed fruit in inventory, how much do we get? Okay, 2,470. So yeah, I'm glad we went for the Iguanodon because getting the seeds for the narcotics is going to make life a lot easier. Um, but today guys, we need to get some stuff up and running. So we've got to get the farmland up and running because we need farm stuff for kibble. If we come in here, we can go kibble. And you'll see just how much we need. So we need rock carrots, we need citronol, we need um, uh, sava root. So we need a lot of stuff. So we're going to need to to start getting the farming up and running. The sooner we get this running, the better and the, the quicker and easier it'll be to get everything. I'm just taking a look at what else we kind of need. Feathers, apexes, primate jerky. Yeah, we we'll probably have to get some of those going as well. All right, but we need to get the, the, the farming going. That's the stuff I want to get done. So we've got a farm mod installed, which is done by the same guy that did the Fiora map, Nekodus. So if we come into here, we need to make the kitchen, which is this thing. So we need the BF cooking pot. Now I'm assuming this will be made in here, right? Cooking pot? No, unless it's made in here. Okay, so we need one of those. Is the kitchen made in here then? Kitchen is also made in here. I should have everything I need for this. Yep, nice. Okay, so that's what we'll need. From here, I think that's what we use to make all the crop land and everything like that. Because I think there's like actual tiles that you can place with this mod. I don't know, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see, I, I guess. Oh, this snaps as well. Awesome. Okay, so it's not irrigated. Better farming kitchen. All right. So it looks like we could also use this to cook stuff as well by the looks of it. All right, so here we go. Better farming, consumables, crafted foods. Yeah, so we can make the foods in here. We can make cooked meat. Nice. Okay, cooked foods. Yeah, all that. All right, cool. So let's go into better farming, cooking ingredients. So we got flour. I don't think we need any of this stuff. Coffee powder, cocoa powder, oil, french fries, fresh potato dough, yeast. Rice powder. I mean, it's kind of cool. Crafted foods. Oh, wow. This is cool. Cooked egg, water, wheat bread. Okay. Seeds. This is what we need. Wheat seed, aloe vera seed, coffee beans. We've got beets. We've got lettuce, mushrooms, olives, cocoa, celery, bell peppers, gener or generic seeds. Okay, so that's how we get generic seeds. So we need sap rare flowers and rare mushrooms. I thought we were just going to need to use normal seeds. Carrot seed, potato seed, rice, maize, and lemon. That's actually really cool. Uh, crafted food structures. This is what we need, though. Garden plot. I want to try this land. This is what I want to try, but we need fertilizer. A tree plot. And then what is this? Dodo coop. Put animal food into this dodo coop and wait for delicious dodo eggs. Okay. I kind of want to make one of those. I need one more wood. I want to see what this looks like. We can't make these because I need fertilizer. I don't know where dung beetles spawn on this map. I'm going to assume in caves, but I'm thinking we go check out the aberration cave that's underneath us here. All right, let's take a look at this. This thing looks kind of cool. All right, so better farming dodo coop. Requires animal food to activate, then wait for delicious dodo eggs. Alright, so... 
I'm just going to whack some berries in there. i got tons of the... These ones. So let's whack some food in here and see if this churns out eggs. If this churns out eggs, then we can kind of get rid of our dodos. Except I cannot put food in here. It requires animal food. Okay, so maybe I need animal food from this. Animal food. Yeah, okay. So that's what... Okay, so we can't use this just yet. I'll pick this up. I don't really need it. I think I got rid of my berries. Whoops. This can go back in here for the time being. Okay, well, I mean, that's interesting. So, we need... What is the generic seeds? Where are the generic seeds? These stegos are really annoying me. I don't want to attack them because I know they're going to be a pain in the ass to try and kill. Okay, so sap is the big thing that we need. So, we need to get a sap tap as well, which I should be able to get. And if I come into here... Sap... S plus sap tap, larger inventory, more reliable sap production. I've got heaps of... Actually, I don't have heaps of metal. I should probably be a bit careful. That's all the metal that I think I have. So I need to go get some more metal as well. I'm going to grab those two saps. And yeah, but we'll, we'll probably set the farming up over here where there's a water source. I just... I don't know if you can put water pipes straight into that. I'm not sure. All right. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get some stuff up and running today. So like electricity and stuff like that so that we could start storing everything because it's kind of getting a bit messy there's stuff everywhere as our inventory is an absolute freaking mess so we need to get that i want to get a dung beetle if i can find one i am thinking what we'll do is we will go into the aberration cave below us and see if i can see if i can find a dung beetle in there i think that have we got access to electricity? Yeah, we got the vaults, so I'm pretty sure we should have access to all of that. Domesticated beehive. I actually want to make one of these. 250 rare flowers. Tech tree sap tap. Huh. We'll send sap back to S plus dedicated storage. That's sick. I'm going to be using all the S plus stuff as well. Because I want to see what it, it does if I can get element. I'm not sure how hard it is. I can't remember off the top of my head how hard it is to get element on this mod. But we're going to give it a shot. I want to make one of these beehives before our honey starts running out. We've got 117, so we can make two. I'll put that in there for now. What else can I store? Uh, probably the bloods. Because they do also run out as well. So, we, yeah, we need. that's why I want to get, like, fridges and stuff like that. But we're going to need to do a little bit of farming. I just need to sort out this inventory. It's an absolute mess. Uh, I'll keep this because I need to eat. The berries and the fiber I don't need. That can go in there as well. That... Okay, that should be alright. I've got a bit of poo, so we can try and tame up a, a dung beetle. I'll grab this poo. Thank you. But yeah, I think we'll try and fly into that aberration cave below us and, and see if we can find anything in there. I should be safe, as long as I can avoid the megalosauruses. Like, as long as they don't grab us, we should be okay. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean... Very, very rough sort of start trying to find herbivores trying to get a base spot sort of organized but i think now that we've got all that sort of covered we've got a source i'm not going to go for that there's a griffin there that we've got a source of like the narco berry seeds and all that sort of stuff i think it's a bit easier now i say that but i can guarantee you we're probably going to get our asses handed to us in this cave um so i need to get, i want to get these tree saps tree sap taps down but can i put i'm assuming i would only be able to do it on the redwood trees right I mean, I'll try and put it on one of these normal trees. I didn't think so. I didn't think it would let us put it on this. No, It says no ground. Why does it say ground? Why would I be able to place it in the ground for? Okay, whatever. Alright, I'm going to fly over to the Redwoods. Uh, luckily, they're pretty close by. Like, they're just over there. I just have to try and remember the location of where we put it so that I can get back over there. Oh my god, and we have found our first Chaos Rex. We found out we found a, a Spirit Rex, and now we found the Chaos Rex. This one's only level 100, thankfully. I say that, I say thankfully like it's not going to annihilate us in one shot when it will. <laughs> We're going to stay well and clearly, truly clear of that guy, but what I'm going to do, I might put the taps on this tree on the corner here. It should be easy enough to remember where exactly it is, and we should be okay. If it'll let us. I don't know how high we have to put it. There we go. One's there. 
I'm assuming I can double snap them. No, I'll just put them on the same tree. All right. We should be fine. Getting back up to it is going to probably be a pain in the ass. But now that we've got those down, let's go head into the aberration zone. I'll see if I can find like an aberrant dung beetle down there. I should be able to fly in there okay. But we'll see how we go. Okay, guys, we're in the cave and I've just spotted some rock drakes. I am not going that way because they will destroy us. So let's head this other way. Um, I'm hoping that I can find a dung beetle in here somewhere. I don't have very high hopes, though, to be honest. I really don't. I got another supply drop here. Dodic saddle? Beasel bufo. I was going to say we could use that, but nope, it's a beasel bufo. All right. I also have to try and stay away from that. The lightning for the light. I don't know if that'll aggro on us. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't. Okay. We're through with relatively no casualties. I'm going to assume that Reaper Queens also spawn in this section, but this cave is honestly looking super cool. Is that an oil node? I'm going to come down here and land. Yeah, this aberration cave is dope. What is this? Oh, Venom. It's Nameless Venom and a bunch of lampreys. That's cool. All right, so Nameless Venom just spawns in those rocks. There's a Karkonos. Let's stay away from that thing. Oh, an artifact. I mean, I'll take it. I didn't even realize. That's cool. We'll grab that. Artifact of the Stalker. Nice. All right. I'm going to keep flying through. Like I said, I, I do want to try and find a dung beetle in here. Oh, okay. This is the cave then. They're the rock drakes that we first saw when we came in. I'm not going to... I mean... Yeah. Damn, I thought there'd be a dung beetle in here. I definitely haven't missed it. All right. Uh... I might just have to go with, like... Please don't aggro on me. Are we good? Yeah. I might just have to go with, like, the, the compost bin, to be honest. Because it doesn't look like we're able to get a dung beetle. And I, I can't really think of anywhere else that they would spawn. On this map. Like, there's no deserty area. The only other places would be, like, the cave. But the only cave that I've seen that's had tames in them had, like, an army of onyx. And I don't really want to go back in there. Alrighty guys, so I've just gone ahead and read some of uh, Fjorda's patch notes. And apparently there's a cave in the Redwoods that is full of dung beetles. So I'm going to try and find this cave now. It's probably going to be super difficult and I'm probably going to die due to the amount of thylacolios that are most likely going to jump on me. Plus then I actually have to try and find the cave as well which is also gonna probably be very difficult what i'm looking for is like the the holes that appear when there's a cave present i'm also trying to keep an eye out for any thylacolios i should probably try and go through this a little bit more systematically as well and i have to be careful of all the elemental stuff trying to kill me what is that is that a reaper that's a reaper queen let's just leave her alone that was a Reaper Queen. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to try and find this cave. I've... Oh, shit. Is that... What is that? An Alpha Gacha? Yeah, it is. Oh, no. I don't... Like that sound, I heard a freaking Reaper Queen. We're just going to fly over here. I got enough stamina. Oh, she did surface. She's right there. I'm glad I took off when I did. Alright, come on, stamina. I know I could get... I know it could recover quicker if I jump off, but honestly, I am... Okay, Reaper Queens can now scale mountain sides on the ground. Makes sense. I've got enough stamina, we're flying away. We are flying far away. So yeah, I'm going to try and systematically approach this and see if I can find the cave. It's going to be... I don't know. I could probably look up the coordinates if I really wanted to, I guess. But I think I'd rather just search for it and see if I can find it. Alrighty, guys, and we're exploring the Redwoods and check this out. It's a little fort. It's kind of similar to where we're built at the moment. Is there a central area? Yeah, it looks like it goes back here. But this is... this is Oh, that's cool. I like that log just smashing through the walls. This is actually a really cool spot as well. This would be like a super good spot for PvP. I don't fully like it because of the exposed backside where like creatures could fall in and stuff. But like this is such a cool map. Oh, I can't get over it. All right, so we're trying to find the redwood, uh, the thingy cave. Uh, I've got no idea where it is, but I don't think it's that way because that's all ice. Maybe it's down here. I think this is where the demonic mega mesopithecus is though. So I've got to probably be a little bit careful. We've got an R-thylacolio down there and a toxic thylacolio. Cool. 
But yeah, I gotta just keep searching for this cave. And I think I just found something. I was coming up here to land because I needed stamina and there is a cave here. Is this... Oh, you're... <laughs> what are the bloody chances? I was coming up here to land for stamina and I saw the little entrance. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Okay, so we got 200, 220. I'm hoping something doesn't kill our thingy. Hold on, there's one over here. 240. All right, let's go for this 221. Small, small. I swear I had medium. Yeah, there's the mediums. All right, 38%. Uh, I'm pretty sure our Tyranodon drops smalls. I'm hoping I have enough poo here. I'm a little bit worried now. That only gave us, what, 38%. So, I mean, at least we know where the cave is. So we can always come back here and tame another one. Uh, how much do you give? 17. All right, we sh I shouldn't have probably done that. We should have enough poo. I wonder if I can get my Tyrandot onto thingy. I need to also... Oh my god, more just spawned in, I think. Yeah, more just spawned in. I think I need to get a Fiomia as well. Did you do a poo for me, mate? If you did, it probably rolled off the edge, didn't it? Yeah, we probably need to get a Fiomia as well. Can I get you to poo, mate? Do I have any stims? No. Alright, let's try and get just one dung beetle. I guess we don't have really a producer of too much poo anyway. I don't want a 540. Where did the other one go? This is like a really cool little cave though. Where's the one that we were taming up? There it is. See, so yeah, I'm going to work on getting this guy tamed up. Uh, and then we're going to get it back to base and we can start. I need a Fiomia. I've seen a couple of Fiomias wandering around. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, and we're so close. 96.3. Can I poo? Is it, what button is it to poo? I don't remember what button it is. I need another little tiny bit of poo. Try it on. Are you holding out on me? Have you got any poo for me? God dang it. Um, I don't have any... I can't remember what button it is to poo. I could have sworn there was an emote to do it. Stop whistling it. I need a poo. How do I poo? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's an, oh, the dung beat is wandering around. I need to deal with this quickly. Poo, 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 poo. Where is it? Poop. I know there's a button to press it. Okay. Nothing. I don't see it. I'm making... Defecate. Add. What button is add? Is that plus? I'm so confused right now. I just need one piece of poo. No. Where is the, you know, okay, you know what? Just change it. Let's just change it before the dung beetle gets away. Uh, <laughs> can I change it? Defecate. Um, look at that. Can I poo? Yes. Finally. That's, I think, what we need. 220. Uh, I really hope our 200 one's still in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Let's get him. Uh, where's our poo? Ha ha ha! We did it! Slightly more difficult than I was expecting because I didn't have enough poo, but we got there. Alright, and we have somehow stuffed our settings up with the brightness of everything from doing that. Alright. Awesome. Let's get this guy back to base. I'm going to probably throw him out here and we'll just cryo him up. But at least we got him. So that's a great start for our farming. And we know where the cave is, so we can come back here for more. So, and it's a pretty, like, memorable location as well, which is awesome. Alrighty, guys, we're back at base, and I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if this Dimorphodon is trying to kill our stuff or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe here. We're gonna move everything into the corners here, because I don't know if it's trying to kill our stuff or not. It looks like it's aggroed on something. I also stopped by the tree saps and we've already gotten uh, 24 sap from each of them. So I grabbed all of that as well. Can I make a bowler? I don't know if these guys... I'm going to assume they'd be bowlerable, but I don't know. I don't even know if I could kill this thing. Uh, I've got these arrows. Potent dart full of tranquilizing poison. 
I don't know. I think that's the same as the, the arrows. Um, I have this sword. If I can bowler it, we could probably kill it. Because to me, it looks like it is aggroed on some of our... It's trying to attack our base here. Good job, CJ. You missed it. I don't really want an alpha dimorphodon flying around our base. Making me a little nervous. If I can bowler it, I'll try and kill it. If not, I'm just probably going to let it go. Okay, it's not bowlerable. I'm going to just try and kill it here. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It only had, I think, 3k health. So with this sword, we should be able to kill it here. I say should, and I honestly don't know. I can't tame it. Oh, there's another dimorph. Did it have anything on it? I'm not seeing any body bag. Damn, I was hoping for like some... Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, cool. I was hoping for some tranks and stuff. I'm not going to kill those guys. They can stay. Um, yeah, alright. So that's good. We killed that guy. Uh, we got some more poo here, so we could always go back and tame another one. But I think we have enough stuff to actually make those crop plots. No, I need fertilizer, I think. Structures... Yeah, I need the fertilizer. See, it says farmland, so surely we could use normal stuff with that, right? I just need the fertilizer. All right, so uh, let's get the dung beetle out. What I'll do is also, we'll go see if we can find a Fiomia. I need a cage as well. Give me one of those, and I mean, I could let him just wander around this area, but he'll probably get eaten by something. I'm not going to bother trying to slot cap him because, oh, well, I can't. All right. Throw you in there, mate. All right, cool. Let's go get a Fiomia if we can find one. I'm also probably going to try and harvest up some metal. I've seen a couple of Fiomias over here, near like that settlement area. So I'm going to see if I can find one. There's another Dimorphodon. Oh, can I get this red drop? This is going to be quick. Rock arm saddle, some rune stones, and a C4 remote detonator. Not worth it. Hey, look, a, a thingy majiggy horn. Five star shield horn. It's already taken a bit of... Oh, that's the one that we tried knocking out. I'm not going to even bother. There's a primal aloe down there. Alright, so let's see if we can find that Fiomia. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of them over on like these hilly areas. Not near any of the Deinonychuses, that's for sure. But like, yeah, over here near the settlement. I'm pretty sure I've seen some. Just kind of frolicking around. There's one. Beautiful. You will do. What level are you, mate? Oh, excellent. Level 80 as well. Alright, let's... Bowl of this guy. Nice. Alright, so this should be an easy tame. Is that an Iguanodon down there as well? It's either an Iguanodon or a, or a galley. I think it's a galley. I was gonna say, I swear to God, if there was an Iguanodon here this entire time, and I've just gone ahead and scoured the entire freaking map trying to find one, when we've had one right here, it is a galley. Thank God for that. Oh, man. I would have been not happy. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Fiomia done. I'm going to go get some metal now after this guy tames up. Because we're going to need quite a bit of metal for the stuff that we need to do. I've got Silica Pearls. Polymer might be the only thing we're struggling with. Uh, what am I looking for here? Berries. Yeah, Polymer might be the only thing that we'll struggle with. Because, I mean, I got 138 and I think there's some more back at base. So I should be able to get the basics down. We do just want to really kind of get a fridge and then I don't know what else. A generator, obviously, to power the fridge. Let's not go this way, because that stego will kill us. Alright, we're good. Mr. Fiomi, are you eating up? And I do know where a couple of the, the metal nodes are, so we can find those. I'm just going to wait for him to tame up. He shouldn't take too long, because he he's a piggy and he just eats super quickly. Is there anything else in here? No, just the stego? Okay. I think one Fiomia is enough. It'll be, it should be enough to give us what we need. And then honestly, I think we'll try and find some toxic parasaurs or the toxic dodos to try and, uh, scorched dog bug. Is this going to give us sand? Yeah. To, to find those so that we can start getting their eggs as well. Cause that's how the progression system works. You need eggs of the previous tier. Ooh, let's stay away from him. You need eggs of the previous tier and parasaurs and dodos are the best kinds. For toxic anyway, I think alpha, you can get the dodos still and parasaurs. But I think that's where they stop at Alpha. I don't think you can get higher than Alpha. 
So we are going to need to find something else to tame up. And then we're going to need to do it in pairs as well, which is the pain in the butt thing. And we're also going to need to get an over raptor. So I'm trying to hoard the eggs for that as well. Uh, where are my ball things? There we go. I'm pretty sure I can make that gun as well and it'll make things easier to cry. I think we can just shoot them and they automatically cry. All right, let's grab some metal here uh, and then I'll get that back to base and we should be able to make a generator and, and expand out the base a little bit. Okay, and that is the mother of all explosions. Holy smokes, I don't know... Oh, it's still going. I don't know what the hell caused that. I'm trying to find some metal. I, I know there's metal around here somewhere. But damn, I don't know what the hell that caused that. We, we, we're going to stay very clear of that because that was, that was a massive explosion. Beautiful. Found the mountain that we were looking for. So this is, yeah, it's full of rich metal nodes. It's not that far from the base either. The base is like just over there. So I'm going to harvest up all this metal, maybe even some crystal. I should be able to carry it all on the Tyranodon. If not, I should be. I think I have an XP potion that I can give him, which... Yeah, we've only got a small one, but it should be enough to give him a bit of a, a bit of a boost to his weight anyway. Alrighty, guys, and we were flying back to base with all the metal, and look at this thing. Fabled Magma Saw. I want all of them. We can't get this guy because he's a Fabled. That's pretty much like near the NT. So we, we'd definitely have troubles trying to get that guy right now. Well, I mean, it's literally impossible for us. I was just trying to fly around and see if I could find any obsidian, because I know I need some obsidian. Oh, that's a defense unit. Let's fly away from that. I know I need some obsidian for some stuff, but I, I can't find any. So I'm going to try looking on the other side of the map. I know there was some over where those that icy area was, where we started off, because we saw some getting destroyed over there. But, I mean, I've got a ton of metal and a ton of crystal. Shit. Okay, hopefully they don't notice that we're here and we can fly away. We ran out. It's the worst time to run out of stamina. Come on, dude, recover it. I don't want to sit here longer than I have to. Hurry up. So, yeah, we've got tons of crystal and metal. Uh, let's get out of here first. And then we'll show you guys. So, if we come... I don't think there's any other way for us to... No, I think we're okay. Our base spot looks alright. I don't think we have anything to really worry about at the moment. No, we're good. Alright, nothing... I, I, every time I come up here, I'm worried that there's going to be something that's just in here that's ready to destroy us. No eggs here. Okay. Um, yeah, so we got a ton of metal and a ton of crystal, because we're going to need it. Where is the metal? There we go. 4,000 metal. Nice. And we also got a ton of crystal. 1,000. So we'll take all of that. I don't think I have any... Do I have any wood? I have 670 wood. That, that'll do for now. I'll eventually go out and get some more, but... Yeah, I need to try and find some more some more resources. We're getting sap, so I think I can make the generic seeds, I think. Yeah, I can make the generic seeds, but I think there's a, a place over here where, like on Fjorda that we can actually get crops. Let's chuck this guy over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a place on Fjorda where we can actually get crops, so I might see if I can head over there and find that. Because if we can, then we'll be able to make the next tier of Kibber, which means we can start trying to get some Toxic Dodos. Uh, I need those. So yeah, I might try and see if I can do that. Now, I'm pretty sure the Fiomi is still poo, right? I'm going to grab some more of this. I might go out and get some more Dung Beetles as well, to be honest. Where did our Stimberries go? There they are. Yeah, cool. They still poo. Give me all that poo, mate. Make it rain up in here. Atta boy. I don't know how much poo our dung beetle can hold, so I'll probably not use all of them. And I should probably not be a bad owner and give this guy some food in exchange for his service to pooing. Give it all. Look at all. Look at it all in all its glory. Okay, let's take all of that. Nice. All right. Dung beetle, good sir. I don't know if I put you on wandering. I don't think I did. I just threw you in the cage and kind of forgot about you. I could try and slot cap it, but I'm, I don't know if I'm really that invested, to be honest. I'll probably just go out and get some more. All right, let's enable wandering. That'll start turning that into fertilizer for me. We got another Dodicarus over there. I'm going to grab some more berries for our Fiomia boy so he doesn't starve to death, because he's going to be invaluable as we go along here. And then what I might do is I might try and find the, the village where there are the crops, so that we can try and get some crops and bring those back. I think that might be the way to go. Do I... 
I might take the Iguanodon with us as well, because I'm pretty sure that'll probably harvest them better than us. Can you get through here? Nice, come on. All right. Yeah, I think we'll take our Iguanodon with us. What I'm just going to do, though, is I'll quickly offload all the berries and all that onto our Dodic here. And all the seeds, we definitely don't want to lose those. What else was it carrying? The honey and then the bloods. Okay, cool. Oh, you know, even like this map itself would be so awesome for even just like a vanilla playthrough, to be honest. Where did we get element from? The heck? I genuinely have no idea where that came from. What the hell? That's, yeah, that's super weird. Um, okay, what I'm going to, oh, I didn't want to put that down there. Can I put this down here though? Yeah, I don't know where that element came from. You got nothing left on you? No. Alright. Let's cry this guy up. His saddle, yeah, it comes with him. Awesome. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna fly out. We're gonna see if we can find that village. And I'm gonna bring you guys back in a bit. And hopefully we can get some crops going. And hopefully our dung, I don't know if we can, I might try and see if I can up the, the rate the dung beetle transforms poo into fertilizer. I'll see if I can figure out the eye and eye for that as well. I can't make a sweet veggie cake, but I really want to because we could tame some overses. Actually, I don't even know if I need to bother. Because I think I can get it to just stack and we'll have like an infinite supply. What level is this guy? 520. I might just kill it so that I can get the mutton stacks and then that'll help us deal. I mean, we only really need mutton for the vanilla dinos anyway, I guess. Please don't run over the camp. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Abort mission. Abort mission. Whatever. You get to live today, Overs, but it won't be forever. Alrighty, guys. And we found the village. I actually flew past it. I came over here and I saw that there was a metal, like two metal nodes in this little cave over here. Just there. So yeah, I kind of, I flew past over here and then I saw a, a freaking, there's a chaos spino down here. So we're going to stay well and truly away from that guy. And yeah, this village apparently has crops in it. I mean, it makes sense that the villagers... I think there's a corrupted chalice Ethereum just chilling nearby, though. Yeah, so i got to be a bit careful. Oh, yeah, right here. This is sick. This is so cool. All right, so let's... I just want to check these houses as well out. Like, this is such a cool map. It's got, like, a bridge and everything. I wonder where all the people are. All right, so can I harvest these crates? Because I know... Yeah, all right, cool. So you can actually harvest these as well. Because I did it in front of another cave. I'm getting... Where am I getting this element from? That wasn't there when we left the base, was it? I have no idea where this element keeps coming from. I don't need any of that. I will keep the me the meat and the metal. Can I harvest these? Are these are they just normal rocks? Yeah. So yeah, you can harvest these crates and everything as well. This is like the big boy hut. All right, cool. Let's let's grab some of these crops. We're gonna throw the iguanodon out and. I'm assuming it'll be able to gather more, right? Unless it's not able to have, actually gather anything. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, we might not even need to plant stuff for a while because... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll still probably need to plant stuff. I was going to say, this should hold us over for a while. Is everything harvestable? Everything is harvestable. We can grab the corn and the long grass. Long grass, sorry, not corn. I mean, I'm going to grab everything. Is there double carrots? Are they... No, this is citronol as well. All right, awesome. So, I mean, this will allow us to make the next tier of kibble. As well as some of the next kibble. But I'm still going to grow crops because we're going to need them. I, I think we'll burn through this for sure. I'm pretty sure the kibble, you need like three of each. Three of one crop. But, I mean, we could always come back here. I'm a bit sad that the iguanodon didn't work. Does it disappear? Where does his soul trap go? Do I have to re-equip it again? I just ate an experience potion. Whoops. Okay. Thanks for your help, mate. You did absolutely nothing. Let's get out of here. There's another cave system nearby, though, as well. Just over this mountain, I think. We flew past it as well. Just in there. Is this the one where we died to that raptor before? 
I think this is where I harvested the crates from. Yeah, this is. This is where I harvested the crates from. So there's another cave system in here. I don't think there's anything uh, super fancy inside of this one. I mean, we could go take a look real quick. Let's go take a look. I'm pretty sure it just ends here. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. So we, we've already explored this one. So it's just like that. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we there's... I mean, a build a base. You could build a base in here for sure, but I mean, we don't really have too much of a use for it. So let's get out of here. We've got our crops. I might try and fly around the area see if I can find any obsidian, and then I'll head back to base. Alrighty, guys. So we're back at base. We've got quite a few crops. 150 of pretty much everything. Um, I do want to try this. I want to try these this better farming out before I go about doing normal crop plots. So I have to just wait for the fertilizer, which sucks. But I mean, there's not much I can do if I go into. Where is the animal food animal food what do i need for animal food i need wheat i don't think seeds wheat 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 maize lemon i don't think we need the generic seeds so that's why we got the sap for so i should be able to make a couple of those generic seeds but i need that i want to try and use that land tile to see what it does and, and how it works and everything so we'll do that before we go about um, planting everything, but I need to make some more of those. So I've got plenty of that. I might go tame some more dung beetles, to be honest. I've got plenty of seeds. We've got quite a few rock carrots. Can I make some kibble now? I should be able to make a couple of toxic kibble, right? Let's take a look here. Dinosaur egg, I have fiber. Yeah, I should be able to make a couple. Rock carrot and narco berries. I don't know why it's not grabbing from our inventory full, but there we go. And narco berries, I don't... I have some in here, don't I? Yeah, let's grab those out. Put those in there, and let's see how we go with kibble now. I'm not... I don't think I can make any of the alpha, because we need the toxic eggs. But if I can make some of this kibble... For three crafts, can I go ten? I need more dinosaur eggs. I can make seven kibble. That's honestly not bad, because I can take this kibble now and go out and try and tame some toxic dodos. I'm probably going to try and find some low-level ones. But if I can get a male and female one, that'd be awesome. And then we also need to try and line up an Ovis Tame so that we can boost the egg production rate. Because right now, these are the only dudes we've got producing, producing it. So, yeah, we're going to need to do that as well. Uh, what do I need? What is it called? The compost bin? Thatch and dung. I might make a couple of these as well. To be honest, just because we can speed up the process a little bit. Give me some of that. I am going to need to go farm some more resources though, which I might do in between now and next episode. Let me make two of those. Do I have thatch? Just because we have a lot of poo because of the Fiomia, so like... I don't know what the ratio is though. Yeah, I'm not sure what the ratio from thatch to compost is. I don't have any... Th oh, yeah, I got thatch. All right, let's split this in half. I'll chuck 200 in here. Oh, it tells me here. So, 50 thatch to 3 feces. I mean, I'll, I'll fill it up with poo and I'll just chuck that in. And then that should give us... 10? Just under 10. We'll get... Eight because of the amount of feces that we have in there. But that's fine. That'll help the fertilizer process speed up. And then I'll store the rest of the poo in the Fiomia here. I will eventually go out and I think we'll go tame up another dung beetle though. Because they're obviously going to be significantly better than the, the compost bins. But uh, I, I, should I... Can I build a fabricator? I need spark powder. I need more than that. Let's go 100 here. Okay, so we got the spark powder. I think that's everything I need for a fabricator. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Okay, and if I come into here, can I go refining? That's what I needed the obsidian for, for this bad boy. Because this will burn quicker and we'll, we'll get metal faster. So I was going to try and make that. Is there an indie forge? I'm pretty sure there is a primal for your indie forge. 
I might not have unlocked it yet. And dust, dust drill. Yeah, 80, 92, I'm pretty sure. All right, cool. So, I mean, we've got that. We need to expand the base and need to, like, clean it up and everything. So, I might... I was supposed to do that today, but, I mean, I kind of got sidelined and distracted. Let's go fabricate it here. I don't know why it doesn't pull from its own S plus stuff. It's really weird. I don't know why it doesn't do that. For, why it doesn't pull for... Uh, spark powder. Okay, so we've got the fabricator now, which is great. So, we can make the electric stuff... I kind of want to build the base out of metal as well, just in case something attacks us, and at least we've got, like, walls up. I don't know if I'll be going for a fancy base this time around. It's probably going to be more practical, just because, like I said, we could have everything destroyed by, like, something spawning in here. All right, but we got the fabricator down, so I can get into the, the electrical stuff and everything. But uh, I'm going to wrap the episode up here today, guys. We're going to need to farm for some more resources, need to get some more metal, try and line up some obsidian and all that sort of stuff. Nonetheless, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.